Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Fix Guide. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable regional pricing for Roblox items. Now, regional pricing is a fantastic feature because it automatically adjusts the cost of your items based on the buyer's location, making them more affordable for players around the world. So for doing this, we will need to access the Creator Hub to set this up. So what you do is head over to the official Roblox website and make sure that you're logged in to your developer account. Now, look at the top navigation bar and click on the Create option. Now, this will take you to the Creator dashboard. Once you are there, just simply click on the Creations option. And over here on the left-hand side, you can view all of your creations that you have made so far. So now, all you have to do is simply open where you want to enable this particular function. We need to find the specific gain pass or item that you want to apply this particular pricing rule to. So, click on the specific experience or place where you created the item. For instance, this particular game. Then, now over in the left-hand side menu, just simply go to the Monetization tab. And inside the Monetization tab, just simply select Passes from the list if you are selling Game Passes, or Avatar items if you have them. Note, only choose those options if you are updating them. So now, once you're on the Passes or Avatar items, what you have to do is you have to enable a few settings. So what you do is just simply click on the pass that you have created, or the item that you have created. Then, just simply go to the Sales tab on the left-hand side panel, and over here on the right-hand side, you should be able to see your current default price that you have set, and a small check option below saying Enable Regional Pricing, which you can see right here. Make sure to enable this option. Now, if you are curious about what people in other countries will pay, you can click on the View All option right over here to see the breakdown of the costs based on regions, as you can see right over here. And finally, don't forget to click the blue Save Changes option at the very bottom to make the changes official. So that's it. You have now successfully set up regional prices to help reach a wider audience for your Roblox items. So I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. So thank you for watching, and take care.